hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Sakina and I create videos related to um, motherhood um, you know um, everyday life how to cope with a kid you know and all that jazz and I also make videos related to um, fashion and more specifically you know caviar girls so so yeah if you're on the caviar side and you don't know what the to wear because everything out there is for you know smaller bodies uh, then um, then yeah stick to my videos and I I swear to you you'll find something you know something a little bit better to, to wear oh in general you will find something that you can wear so I just suggest you watch one of my videos i'm gonna have some links down below and on the screen make sure you check those videos out as well and and yeah I've, i it's quite interesting how you know uh, i do these mum videos and all that and i don't get much response you know it's i have the lowest views when i post like mum videos and stuff and i posted like a you know I, I tried different for leather trousers like two weeks ago and I posted that video and it got so many views I was very surprised but I also got a lot of perverts as well like commenting on my um, you know video and this is not what I wanted to achieve you know because I want to just to show Kevin women you know where to go and buy some flipping for leather trousers I didn't want to to i didn't want it to turn sexual in any way but this is what it turned and i had some weird people emailing me commenting the most ridiculous inappropriate comments obviously had to block some had to report some and and yeah but anyway so i was thinking how should i make motherhood videos interesting but there's not I don't know how to do that I don't think there is any way you can make mom videos like interesting you just if you like them you watch them if you don't you don't and if you're a mom you kind of watch it because you might be desperate and you might be looking like what the f should I do so there you go I'm here I'm just to, to share with you a couple of things because I'm not an expert at all but Anyway, I've been ranting so much, but yeah, this is what's been happening recently and I'm just, it has been crazy, you know. And also, the dollar, a dollar million question. Have you watched the Squid Game? Hmm. Yes, I was avoiding it at first, you know, and um, I was like, fuck this noise too. It's overhyped, it's, uh, you know, and all that. But... Let me tell you, there is a reason why it's so overhyped, you know, because it's freaking good. And I suggest you watch it, please. You know, if you want to escape from reality for a little bit, for a little bit, and then, you know, end up watching something that will might traumatize you for life, then I suggest you watch it. But I'm kidding. I just, if you can't watch this kind of shows, then you should definitely watch it because it's very good it's very dark but it's it's good it's very good i suggest you watch it but anyway other than that i just wanted to tell you that um nine months postpartum yay and you know um so it's the 10th today it's a sunday and i'm gonna be posting the video tomorrow which is the 11th and on the 11th my baby is nine months and I am officially, you know, nine months postpartum. So it's nine months after giving birth. Sorry about my phone. Let me put it on silent. Okay. So yeah. Um, what was I saying? Yes. So my baby will be eleven months. So when you watch this video, she's gonna be nine months. Did I say eleven or nine? Anyway. <sighs> okay and i'm nine months after giving birth and i still have my brain with me you know i didn't go insane so well done mama well done to all of you as well that 
you're doing good and you keep your sanity in place in check you know but anyway so yeah i just wanted to give you a little update to you know how we're doing how me and baby are doing and all that and um yeah we are doing good and tomorrow as well it's my first day that i'm going back to work which um i'm very happy about no i'm not i'm not i'm not i don't know i just i don't feel like going back to work anymore i just want to stay i just want to be a stay home mom but even though i stay home there are days that i just want to um you know like i just fall into deep like depression you know and um not really but you know sometimes some days it's hard even though i say that you know i don't want to go back to work oh i don't know what i want at the end of the day i don't know if i want to go back to work i don't know if i want to stay at home and going crazy with my little kid my little baby because you know she's crying she's she wants to explore and i have to chase ch chase her you know and some days i i'm just too irritable i mean i'm an i am an irritable person in general but I could get more irritated than that, you know? So yeah, I don't know how this video is gonna go, but you know, it's just me just ranting and talking. But anyway, I didn't want you know to crack my brain too much and sit down and write notes because every time I think too much of something, you know, it's not even successful. So I might be sitting down like you know really planning a video and then it got no many views so i'm like what's the point so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna come to you and just talk any rubbish that comes you know across my mind but anyway yeah current routine uh so basically yeah so now my baby she sleeps like she sleeps from like eight nine i try to push it you know so because i love my sleep and i don't sleep early as well so if i put her to bed at seven she'll wake up at seven and i don't want to wake up at seven i know i'm not an early bed trust me i'm not i hate it i just i just can't i like the idea of waking up early you know doing my little workout having my uh, meditation moment having my cup of coffee whatever but i can't do that i can't do it you know so if she sleeps at seven she'll wake up at seven so i'm just trying to push it to nine ten you know so at least she'll wake up at nine or ten but she also wake up another like once or twice during the night still you know and i will just give her a bottle change her nappy and then she will hopefully go back to sleep but sometimes she won't go back to sleep immediately but anyway if she's a good girl i can't i can't complain it could be worse it could be worse and and yeah she wakes up but you know whatever time i put her to sleep so she will wake up i will maybe give her another bottle of milk or prepare some porridge or some cerealac so i'm gonna be showing you as well some products some pro some foods that i'm giving her and um yeah i love this i love this so much they sell it at everywhere i showed that before in another video so they sell that at boots they sell that at Lido. they sell that everywhere but i prefer to buy that from boots and asda as well because they have an offer they have different flavors so if you buy two it's only 250 something like that so yeah i love that but make sure you do you when you prepare it you make it very like you know not not too thick you know and also i might give it some cerealac as well but i prefer to give it that because it's not sugar this one it has sugar i remember we used to eat it out of a spoon you know when we were little kids because it was so nice and I still do it sometimes so yeah anyway uh yeah so yeah she'll wake up we give her a bottle 
but if I am in good spirits, I would do that. You know, I would prepare that cereal like or porridge and give up. Other than, otherwise, I would just give it a bottle and just try to recover from my, you know, because I don't know. I just wake up and I always feel tired. And the thing is, I like to wake up early, even though I don't like it. It's good for me because I don't get headaches when I wake up. But if I wake up a bit later, like 9 or 10, I, I wake up with headache. I don't know why. My body is messed up. I don't know what's going on. But that's what's happening. So I might think that having more sleep is better for me. But it's, it's not. That's what I realized. If I have less sleep and I wake up in the morning, like early from 6.37, I feel more fresh, to be honest. So I'm just bringing it to you. But don't tell my husband because I don't want him to go by like, oh, you have to sleep, you have to wake up early. You have to... No, I don't need that. Anyway, yes, so that's our routine. So yeah, we'll give her the milk. So if I give her milk, the next meal I give her after two or three hours, make sure he's you know i alternate it so if it's milk then i will give it something more solid if it's solid then i will give it milk so that's what i do until pretty much the time she goes back to sleep you know so i will give it as i showed you the porridge or sterilac and later i might give it some um, fruit you know pouch or i might uh, mash up some banana with the yogurt or um uh, also for breakfast I might give her some banana with uh, so I break one banana I break one egg and one banana mash the banana and mix it and then I make like little pancake it's sweet naturally sweet and it's very nice and very healthy because you have the protein the carbohydrates and she likes it as well so yeah that's what I do sometimes and then uh, I might give it this as well which is you know prepared meal i always make sure when i buy something you know ready made that there's no sugar there's no store there's no funny stuff in it so because i'm a lazy mother i yeah i love those you know i love all of this because i can't be bothered sometimes to prepare food i can't be bothered to prepare food for myself sometimes so imagine having to prepare for yeah baby but you know you know you have to do that so now sometimes i'm not that bad i'm not a bad mom please don't don't misjudge me i'm not that bad trust me but but yeah we moms we need those things sometimes in our lives you know we need to make our lives easier because it's it's difficult as it is and you know sometimes you need to make your life a bit more easier so yeah, that's our routine for now when it comes to sleep and food and um, our breastfeeding journey has finished a long time ago. Uh, it was about six months. My mix supply just went very low. I don't know. Maybe it's because I got my period or maybe I wasn't feeding her as often. So, you know, your mix supply goes down. So it's only formula for now. Anyway, and... Um, yeah when it comes to her development she's um yeah she's quite developing you know now she can't stand when she holds on to furniture well she tries to hold on to pretty much everything you know and she just she's just fascinated about this you know standing she wants to grab on things and stand and you know what she did the other day i put her down to sleep you know and um yeah i put her down to sleep in her coat and i went to check on her and she was asleep on our bed you know our bed is just next to her bed so i don't know that's what she does she just climb up from her bed to our bed but i don't know why she did that i don't know but it was a bit scary because she is if she falls from the bed then it's it's not a good thing and um yeah she can't you know she can't recognize the dangers yet so um yeah that's what she does she will crawl perfectly now um 
she I need to buy that baby gate remind me please but so yeah she will go she wants to go down the stairs and I like that's her aim I can see it in her eyes but yeah so she will crawl to the stairs you know when the staircase start but I've 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 observed her she doesn't go down I think she's scared she just you know assessing the danger so she will just stand there and just look at the staircase and then she will come back you know so that's that's good because if she was if she, if she was not like that you know but now she will have injured herself touch wood but yeah and you still need to get that baby gate because you never know you know you can't depend on that because you can't always keep your eyes on her like 24 7 sometimes you, you are too overwhelmed with other things so yeah when it comes to her development she's doing good she's making sounds you know trying to talk and all that baby stuff you know and yeah another product i want to recommend at this point is my lovely baby chair it's not really high chair it's just a um it's like yeah it's a baby chair like you know high chair but it has these toys as well so you just remove it from the side so you don't, if you want to sit here in you know you you will tie her and then boom so at this stage that she's um, crawling all over the house and she wants to go here and there this is lovely because before that I didn't know what to do like the rocking chair she's not suitable for that anymore because she's you know she's leaning she's moving and it's not it's only for the newborn phase which is long gone now you know so this is perfect for now so i just sit here in and she loves all that you know all the sounds the toys you know all of that it's perfect that's your favorite sound the most noisiest and she goes like this just crazy it's not really crazy but it's better than having to chase her around the house all the time because you know at times i can't watch her all the time is sometimes it's driving you crazy isn't it so that's a perfect perfect way you sit here in she can play she can have your play time you know and it's good it depends playing for kids it's very good for their development so so yeah that's perfect and you know you can sit here in to give her the meal her meals as well so yeah and um what else i'm talking so much yep so mental health let's talk about mental health that's my favorite subject because i'm perfectly in uh, sane insane insane anyway uh, but for real mental health is very important so keep that in check our hormones is still all over the place and my irritation i don't know where it's coming from maybe because i'm a crazy cypriot that my family we are all crazy and we are all like have this temper issues and we are loud you know cypriots we are loud that's how we are so maybe it's from that or maybe it's my anxiety because i've got anxiety as well oh always thinking you know and that can affect your mood that can affect how irritated you get and all that that can make, make you snap easier and all that so so yeah i'm just trying to keep that in check and <clears throat> if you stay in the house a lot as well that can affect you at times you feel lonely you don't have a person to talk to rather than a nine month old you know so if you find yourself in that situation try and speak with your partner try and you know try and talk try and chat to people <coughs> Uh, just keep on you know being social with your family and all that that's and that's a tricky one for me because i may be antisocial like i like to just you know be in my comfort zone do my own thing just not talking to anyone you know 
but it's good to have the you know to, to just talk to someone and it actually helps me when i find that i talk even to my partner if i start talking and we talk and um, we talk to my family whatever then i feel a bit better so so yeah make sure you, you speak to people you know like obviously people you like and obviously your friends your family not just random people but yeah because it can feel lonely it can feel very lonely even though it's not i'm not you know i've got people that love me and they're around me but it can feel lonely to be honest being a mom it can definitely feel like that so make sure you talk yeah don't just it's nice to be on your comfort zone for a bit but sometimes you have to come out of it and you know be more engaged you know in conversations and all that so that's in general what i wanted to talk about you know like um sorry about talking sorry for talking so much but but yeah it's me you know i'm just random i just talk sometimes sometimes i don't talk sometimes i'm talking nonsense and you know whatever and uh, yeah la last thing body update yeah uh it's nine months and i'm happy with how my body is but definitely i find it so hard to start exercising again i don't know what's wrong with me like i used to be i always have a bit of motivation you know issues i know it's not always about motivation you need to be a bit disciplined definitely and i used to be very disciplined in the past but i think i got fed up with some you know i got fed up and i'm just like you know fuck it. like i don't care like but then again you still want to look good so you have to be disciplined isn't it and it's so hard to keep the discipline and that's what that's what gonna make you successful at the end of the day this is what is going to bring results so so yeah, i need to get back to my fitness just to yeah i'm happy with my body but i want to work a little bit on my belly you know i just want to show you quick i just my belly you just have this little you know mushy 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 you know just this little bit and yeah that's all i'm not happy about really but the rest of my body i feel confident i feel good and yeah i just need to get a little bit into my fitness just a little bit of exercise you know just to keep that happy hormones going you know but yeah it's a bit it's a bit difficult maybe it's because i have i'm trying to build my you know brand to do things to sew to I set up my Etsy shop and I need to keep that updated, I need to take pictures, I'm making my videos. I just have a lot of things going on and then when I have all these things to do then I, I just want to rest and just watch the squid game. I've finished that anyway. Um, but yeah, I just want to rest after doing all that. So that's that. That's, that's what I wanted to talk about and um, some challenges. Uh, as well that uh, it's so hard for me to you know cope with as a mom is my sleep definitely and she's not a baby that sleeps all that wakes up all the time but also she's not a great sleeper as well you know she she will sleep but some kids will sleep the whole day or the whole night and that's it but she, sometimes it's hard for her to fall asleep you know and um like a few nights ago she's a bit sick now she has this cold and um she woke up at about 11 in the night i put her down at about i don't know nine and then she woke up at 11 and she she had a poo i changed her put her back to sleep and she wouldn't sleep up until 12. then she woke up again at about 2 or 2 30 and for the love of god she wouldn't go back to sleep like anything i would do i tried everything and she wouldn't go back to sleep up until like 4 4 30 i was going crazy like you know like when you interrupt my sleep that's when i, I, I become like a 
you know not a really nice person I just, that's just my difficulty you know that's just one of the challenges and yeah I really went crazy that night but yeah she's not doing that often but yeah it was just it's one of those things that make you feel like guilty like oh like that should be easy for me like I would I shouldn't be reacting like this you know like why would I get so angry so upset about no sleeping you know but and also not being able to go out just we haven't had a proper date night with my husband since she was born you know we haven't had our own time ever if we go out to a restaurant she will always come with us you know because we don't have our families here to just leave her and go out on a date it's, it's difficult you don't have that but hopefully one day we'll go on a date and enjoy you know so yeah uh, I've yeah spoke too much forgive me but yeah that's what I wanted to talk about today I just wanted to give you an update nine months after giving birth we're feeling okay we're feeling good we're feeling still we're still here so we we are doing good isn't it you're doing good I'm doing good we got this moms we got this so yeah um, if you watch till the end I love you you know thank you very much i really appreciate it yeah yeah hopefully i'll see you very very soon with another another video so keep an eye on it and so yeah thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe like this video share it with other moms and and yeah leave me your comments down below let me know what are your you know what difficulties do you come across as a mom you know what are the things we you've learned you know and all that and I know I say you know too much too many times when I made it I'm like oh another you know take that out you know you know but anyway thank you very much see you very very soon bye all night long yeah we dance with our raisin tongues and all